This year I made a New Year's resolution to do more running. Like all those other people who are likely to make New Year's resolutions, actually 44% of Americans, and those who are likely to resolve to exercise more, well, 12% of those turning over a new leaf. So on New Year's Day I downloaded a new app. Obviously, Zombies Run will help. And I decided to train for a race across the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Of course doing regular exercise is good for your body, but the health benefits don't stop there. Physical exercise is also good for your brain. One study split their participants into two groups, one that did an aerobic exercise class every week for a year and another that did a stretching class. Those in the exercise group, who did 40 minutes of aerobic walking every week, showed improvements on a spatial memory task, where they had to remember where small dots flashed on a computer screen. This improvement was directly related to some of their brain structures increasing in size, just from exercising. After one year, the hippocampus, the brain's memory and learning center, increased by an average of 2%. But for those in the stretching group, the hippocampus decreased in size by 1.42%. Not surprising, as people's brains can start deteriorating from as young as 30 years old. Data suggests there's a significant positive relationship between physical activity and cognitive functioning in children too. In one study, 9 and 10 year olds who performed better on a fitness test had a larger hippocampus volume and a better performance on a memory task. So as well as strengthening muscle cells, exercise strengthens brain cells. Researchers believe some of the benefits come from a protein in your brain called BDNF. It stands for Brain Derived Neurotrophic Factor. Exercise like running stimulates the production of BDNF in the brain. BDNF promotes the growth of dendrites, the branches of neuron cell bodies, and the strengthening of synapses, structures that let neurons communicate with each other. So BDNF increases the connectivity between neurons and brain structures like the hippocampus, which is crucial for some aspects of your memory. And it makes sense from an evolutionary standpoint. If you're going out on a run or aerobic walk to find food or shelter, an increase in BDNF in your brain would promote the retention of your memories of what you find. So jogging can actually jog your memory. Exercising your brain cells might change the way you think about your New Year's resolutions or your morning run. Or it might just change the way you think. 